Canada's Ethics Commissioner has launched an investigation into a second Liberal appointed member at their billion dollar green slush fund. Two Liberal appointees together have funneled more than $600,000 to their own companies. It's clear this Prime Minister isn't worth the cost to struggling Canadians. And though the NDP Liberal government tried to silence the whistleblower, the whistleblower will be testifying at committee tonight. So can the Prime Minister cut the drama and so we don't have to wait to this evening and tell Canadians how many other Liberal insiders got rich. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, in fact, let's cut the drama, Mr. Speaker. These Conservatives are so against climate change, Mr. Speaker, that they want to cut one of the institutions that has financed clean technology in this country, Mr. Speaker. The moment we learned about the allegation, we launched an investigation. We took remedial action. The chair of the board has resigned. The CEO has resigned, Mr. Speaker. We're going to get to the bottom of this, restore confidence, have governance, and continue to fund clean tech in this country. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. These Liberals and that Minister were satisfied with their cover-up report and wanted the Board Chair and their CEO to implement the recommendations at this corrupt organization. But now with the Auditor General investigating and the Ethics Commissioner investigating, two Liberal appointees, the Board Chair and the CEO, have resigned in disgrace. There's $1 billion on the line and we know that up to $150 million has been embezzled. Canadians can't afford this Prime Minister after eight years of him and his NDP Liberal government. We want to know, it's very easy, who got rich?